let's talk about how to get a result similar to this one by making some edges hard and some edges soft uh, and talk about what that means and how to achieve this effect. So let's create a sphere by going to poly modeling and then clicking on the sphere. Drag it out and we're going to try to replicate this, uh, this mesh that we have on the right side. So scale it up a bit. And uh, so, so what's actually going on and the reason this uh, ball appears to be uh, smooth while well, it actually isn't is because of this thing called uh, vertex normal averaging. So currently all of the vertex normals and the edge normals are the vert the vertices. Uh, normals are set to average. So we can see that by selecting all vertices, shift, right click and going to vertex normal, toggle vertex normal display. Now you can see all uh, all normals are sticking out directly from edges normally while if we made all of our uh, edges hard we would see that it wasn't actually uh, smooth at all the whole time it was just an illusion created by these uh, vertices now the, the reason uh, there are four normals here is because uh, we have four edges and for each edge on the vertex we actually have it's technically it's like four vertices each uh, telling the light how to behave when hitting it when hitting the edge so uh, because they're not averaged any longer but they're sticking out in their own normal way uh, as if they were uh, independent, the light does not interpolate smoothly between the faces. So if we, so you will see now if we select, for example, this vertex here, actually this edge here, and go to Shift, right click, soften harden edges, then go soften. You will see that on each side, on the, uh, both vertices that were on this edge got collapsed into one single normal or each one respectively so now we have three instead of four well in truth it's all actually it's still four but uh, uh, they're all collapsed so if we if we were to also smooth this one we would get two because both of them collapsed now if we do these two as well and smoothed them as well the, we would get this one sticking directly in front and we got we get this uh, smooth surface among all these uh, hardened non-smooth surfaces so let, let's harden this to see again how it looks so yeah that's actually what's going on so back to how to do that again is by selecting all the edges then pressing shift holding shift, pressing right click and holding right click, and then going to soften, harden edges, and then picking between soften and harden edge. So let's soften all of them. So let's turn off the vertex uh, normal display by again selecting all the vertices, holding shift, holding right click at the same time, and going to vertex normals, toggle vertex normal display. So now that we know how to harden edges, let's replicate this object on the right side. So we select our object, select an edge loop by double clicking and going to, again, holding shift, hold, holding right click, going to soft harden edges and harden edge. So now you won't see much of a difference even though it exists on the angle of the camera. But if we scale it out a bit we can see the difference a bit more precisely so now we can see that we have this illusion of curvature that actually isn't there it's more like an approximation of a curve but it looks smooth and will in-game engines will uh, look uh, 
great and good enough. So let's again harden this one. Raise it a bit, scale it a bit. Great. Now let's select this top cap and you can grow selection by holding control then pressing right click, holding right click and going to grow selection and grow. You can keep pressing G to increase the to keep growing the selection, but we don't need that right now. So let's extrude this. And add the loops that will look like uh, the object on the right side. Scale this out a bit, scale this one out as well, this one as well, and this one slightly between these two. So now when we unselect it, uh, we'll, we see that it looks awful. So we now need to uh, smooth all of this by going to edge selection mode, select all the edges, go shift, Hold shift, hold right click, go to soften harden edges and soften edges. Now it still looks uh, bad, not what we want. We again need to select the edges that we want to uh, be hard, to look hard. And hold shift, hold right click, soften harden edges, harden edges. And now you get the result that you wanted. When you export it to a game engine, it will behave the way you wanted it. So now you have complete control over which, which edge is going to uh, smoothly interpolate light over its surface and which one is going to break it into a more creased look. Thanks for watching.